Women of CTV with one of our newest additions, Suicide Road. Hi, I'm Luke. Welcome to Worthing. How does it feel? Well, I'm actually surprised you said my name right at the first time, so it makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm really excited to be here. Um, I was looking forward to come back to England and obviously get started, and that day has arrived, so I'm just very excited for it and I can't wait to be on the pitch. Really reassuring as well that I got your name right the first time because yeah. I was worried I wasn't quite going to. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, I'm surprised. Like, I've been in many, many stadiums and none of them have got it right at the first time. Never. So, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. So, let's talk about your, your journey so far. You mentioned um, actually being able to go back home. Uh, you're from Spain originally, you've been in the Barca set up when you were younger. Um, you've been all around really yeah. in, in football. Talk us through your, your journey and what's it got to this point. Well, I was playing in Barcelona, I got not fed up, but I was like, I needed a little change. So I went to Ibiza for two years, then I went to Mallorca for once, uh, played there, made some good friends forever, to be fair. Uh, I still talk to, to a lot of them. Uh, and then I moved to England. I was in between like going back home or I had the chance to, to go to England to, to do like a trial thing, like trial week. And then I started my journey there at Haybridge. And from there, it's been it's been amazing from the first day. Uh, I've obviously been in different clubs like Lincoln, uh, Dagenham, Concord, uh, Maystone, Weymouth, so quite a lot. And then to today that I'm here, I'm uh, really excited to to get started. Like I said, you touched on that time of Weymouth. You had uh, it was your last full season playing. You were player of the year in the National League South at this very level in a title winning season. That gives you a hell of an experience. You obviously know how to get promoted out of this league. What was that campaign like for you? Well, that was it was the best and the worst because uh, obviously with four games to go, uh, I had the injury, so he sort of like made it a little bit less enjoyed, like less enjoyable. Uh, but obviously, it was my first ever title, um, and obviously, uh, two days or three days before I got my surgery, I got awarded with the best player of the league so that got me like a little that got my spirits high so uh but yeah i mean it was the probably the best season i've ever had in in a team and individually um and i, I hope so that we we do the same here this year because that's that's why i came here I sort of touch on that uh, injury a little bit so that has put you out for the, the previous season how has that recovery been going and how are you feeling on that knee yeah so obviously i got my surgery back in june last year and um so it's been a year now uh, i was aiming to be back for like march april but with some patella tendon like pain pulled me back a little bit and then obviously i had to like work and strengthen it again and well we've been working on it and hopefully I'm, I'm ready to kick on very soon. So what was it that drew you to Worthing? It feels like a, as a player of your calibre you could have a lot of options at this level. What was it that brought you to Worthing? Well, when I spoke to, to Adam and, and uh, Nathan, the way they approached my rehab at the same time that starting to be played for, for Worthing, I, it was very different to anyone else. Like They were very understanding of where I was and what did I need and I was like I think that's the best like the best option just to be sure that the people I got around is not going to be rushing me like oh you need to play this game you need to train with that, like, the team or like so they, they've been really understandable and I'm I'm really thankful for them and um, I hope that I can get fit very very soon. Adam mentioned that he's been a fan of you since you were at Haybridge Swifts he saw you in a game there a number of years ago now. Has there been any relationship between the two of you before this mm, summer? Not really, not really. Obviously, he spoke to me, um, well, this summer only. Uh, that's when I got to know, to know him. But obviously, it's good that the manager you're going to play for knows you from, from years uh, from years ago and, and he actually wanted to, to have you any of these six years that I've been in England. So that's like a, a point in my favour, like we say. Um, so obviously it's something I'm really looking forward to to play for him and I like the style he wants to play at uh, football. Um, so hopefully I can fit in that style and, and make people enjoy enjoy the games, the goals and hopefully many wins. And uh, well, well, other than many wins, what are your hopes for this season? What are you aiming to achieve? 
Well, first of all, obviously, um, made my return to, to football. Um, I've been 12 years, uh, 12 years now, 12 months uh, working really hard. It's been too long. I don't even know how long it's been now. Um, it's been far too long since, since I've proper kicked the football. Um, so I'm really looking forward to get back to, to full fitness and to enjoy the game again. And um, obviously, I come here because the ambition of the club is to get promoted, and I've done it before, and hopefully, I can do it again. And in the best of the cases, put another medal on my neck. So that'll be that'll be good.